the time of trouble. Amen. But I don't know about one God that's Jesus, the Son of God. Amen. Here it is, amen, as they begin to call on God and the captain began to, to search the ship and see what was causing this trouble. And somebody said, we have a stranger aboard. Uh -huh. See, sometimes, amen, when you got a stranger in the midst of you, people's going to recognize it, amen. And they say, it's not everybody aboard, but it's one down below the deck, amen. Call him up, amen. We need everybody aboard this ship to come up deck. Amen. And then Jonah, amen, waking out of his sleep, and he said, Yes, cast me overboard. Because see, Jonah was running from God. He thought once they throw him overboard, they'll be the end of it. Amen. See, so sometimes, amen, when you run from God, you want to commit suicide. Jonah wanted to commit suicide, but when they throw him overboard, God had a whale that swallowed him. I need some help right there. See, when you try to run from God, God will put you in a place where you can't run. Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights. And when Jonah was in the belly of the whale, he couldn't do nothing but cry out to God. God will put you in a place where you can't do nothing but cry out to God. Jonah said the belly of the whale, it was like hell down in the belly of the well. I need some help right there. Sometime, amen, I'm here to tell you, when you try to run from the presence of the Lord, I remind of what the Bible says, that God is everywhere at the same time. The Bible tells us that God is with us always, even unto the end of the world. The Bible tells me this morning when Jonah tried to run from God, see one thing about it is when you running from God and when that well spit him out up on dry land. The Bible said Nineveh was a three day journey but Jonah got in a hurry and he made a one day journey. And won't God make you get in a hurry this morning? See one thing about God this morning, he'll put running in your feet, clapping in your hands. He'll put a song in your mouth this morning. See here it is, Jonah didn't realize that even if you lay down in your grave, God is with you. Jonah didn't realize if you go to the bottom of hell, God is with you. I'm here to tell you, you can't run from God. Hallelujah this morning. I don't know about you, but I wasn't born saved. Hallelujah. I tried to run from God. But one Friday evening, something got a hold of me. Something got on the inside of me. And I began to feel something and move and yeah. see one thing about God when the Holy Spirit yeah. come up on you yeah. you'll feel something you never yeah. felt before yeah. I'm here to tell you one thing about God Jonah knew it was God hallelujah you're going to know it's God when things begin to happen to you in your life this morning the Bible says that Jonah went down to Nineveh and they had a great revival God will make you have a revival in your life. God will make you tell somebody about the goodness of God. One thing about God this morning, some said they wouldn't go. Hallelujah. But God will take you. He will take you further than you want to go this morning. One thing about God this morning, see I'm here to tell you this morning, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We got to look at God. Amen because we can't reach God. Amen. Hallelujah this morning. See, I'm here to tell you this morning, Jonah didn't realize that wasn't the end. See, sometimes we get in trouble, we think that's the end, but it's only a new beginning this morning. Here it is. Jonah began to wrestle, and he began to wrestle with God. Amen. In the spirit, amen. See, one thing about it, we can't wrestle with God. Hallelujah this morning. I will all is too short to box with God. Hallelujah this morning. But one thing about God this morning, he will give you a chance after chance this morning, seeing if you're going to get it right. Oh, hallelujah this morning. See, too many times, hallelujah, 
we try to look at what somebody else is doing. But one thing about it, what God got for you is for you. Oh, I need some help right there this morning. See, one thing about it, I'm here to tell you this morning, there are going to be many in the last days is going to say, I'm not ready when Jesus come back. Hallelujah. Some is going to be wise and some is going to be foolish this morning. I'm here to tell you, you got to have your oil in your lamp when God come back. Hallelujah this morning. See, the foolish is they going to tarry because they feel they can put off the day for tomorrow. Too many people say, man, they are still pardoning, amen. Too many people say, man, still think they have time to get ready. But I'm here to tell you this morning, people are leaving this world every day this morning. I'm here to tell you today may be your day of salvation this morning. I'm here to tell you this morning, men and women are given in marriage, but that's not the end yet. God is on his way back this morning. And one thing about it, he's not going to let you know when he's going to come. He says some is going to be in the field. He's going to take one and leave one. Some is going to be on the rooftop. He's going to take one and leave one. If you ain't saved when God come back, you're going to have to stay right here on this earth this morning. But I don't know about you. I want to be ready when Jesus come back. I want to be ready when Jesus crack open that sky. I want to meet God up for myself this morning. One thing I'm here to tell you this morning. See, like Jonah, too many going to be caught with their work undone. Too many going to be caught, hallelujah, doing the same old thing. One thing about it this morning, if you do the same old thing, you're going to get the same old results. Oh, I need some help right there. Uh, hallelujah this morning. I'm here to tell you that all good things must come to an end. The only thing going to last is what you do for Jesus. One thing I'm here to tell you this morning, I'm glad that my name wrote in the Lamb Book of Life. When God looked at my name, he said, that's my son. I'm here to tell you one thing about God this morning. He will take all your tears and put them in a jar and he'll remember them this morning. One thing about God this morning, he went ahead and told Jonah this morning, the work that you do here got to speak for you one day. If you ain't did nothing for God, hallelujah, you ain't gonna have no work to speak for you. Every time you tell somebody about the goodness of God, you save him one soul. Hallelujah this morning. And every time you save a soul, the angels rejoice in heaven this morning. Ain't God all right? I know God's all right this morning. Hallelujah this morning. God is getting ready to have a revival. We need a revival. We living in a time, hallelujah, where men don't fell away from church. We living in a time where the church ought to be the light of the world. We living in a time where you ought to let your little light shine. We living in a time where you ought to be able to stand up and testify for God. I know God's all right. For God I live and for God I die this morning. See, hallelujah this morning. Too many people is too busy smoking and joking. Hallelujah this morning. Too many people is too busy following the in crowds. But I'm here to tell you, I'm glad I'm following the Jesus crowd. I know God's all right this morning. He got everything that I need this morning. He more did enough this morning. He water when I'm thirsty. Bread when I'm hungry. I don't know about you, but God brought me from a mighty long ways. And I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. I know God's a way maker this morning. He made a way for me a long time ago. He found me. I was wounded and weary on my way to a devil's hell. But God turned me around and sent me in a new direction. Mama can't do it. Daddy can't do it. Can't nobody make me feel like 
Jesus. I'm here to tell you this morning. I got a new walk. 